everyone, and welcome to the behind-the-scenes peek of reading the old German handwriting online course. So, once you sign up, this is what you'll see. All of this information to help you learn the old German handwriting. The course starts off with the different letters of the alphabet. We learn how to read the vowels, the lowercase consonants, the uppercase consonants, and even the common combinations of letters that you'll often see in the German language. Each of these sections starts off with a PowerPoint video lesson where I teach you how to read these letters. So let's take a look at one now. In this, we go through all of the lowercase consonants and I talk about the different clues that can help you to recognize the certain letters. Knowing this information makes it a lot easier when you're reading handwritten words. And once we're finished with that, you have a variety of games and activities to practice your newfound knowledge. Flashcards, matching games, tests, and quizzes are all a lot of fun. So let's take a look at the flashcards. Here, you'll see the handwritten letter, and you can just click on it to find out what the answer is. Flashcards are a great way to practice, and after you see these letters again and again, reading the handwriting will become much easier. Once we're finished with uh, all the individual letters, we'll move on to vocabulary words. So we have names, months, abbreviations, milestone words, so birth, marriage, and death related words, occupations, and of course, causes of death. So these categories of vocabulary words are so important in German genealogy. And if you can learn to recognize these words in the script, deciphering your records will become a lot easier. So each of these sections, again, starts off with a PowerPoint video lesson and then gives you different activities to do to practice your skills. One of my favorites is a matching game. After you've learned the names in our video lesson, you can start this game and drag and drop the typed word to its handwritten equivalent. It's a lot of fun. And you can do these games as often as you like until you feel very confident. And then once we're done with vocabulary, we move on to actual records, section C. Now section C starts off with this lesson, my tips and tricks for deciphering the old German handwriting. I talk about the websites and the resources that I use every day when I'm transcribing so that your transcription process can become a lot easier. And then we move on to marriage vital records where I help you to kind of break down that marriage certificate everyone sees a lot. And then you get some practice records. I've provided three marriage certificates and one birth certificate for you to try to decipher yourself along with the answers, the German transcription and the English translation, so you can check your work. And then we move on to church records, baptismal records, marriage records, death records, important vocabulary words, and again, lots of practice records for you to try yourself. After all, practice really does make perfect. And then we have letters. So you have two letters for you to practice yourself. And finally, at the end of the course, I've provided all of my resource material to help you in your transcription work. All the things that I've discovered throughout my years of translating, written in articles to make your process much easier. And last but not least, in the course, we have a very nice discussion forum where you can talk with classmates on your handwriting struggles and victories. When we are trying to learn something new, it's really helpful to talk to other people who are going through the same thing. So I really wanted this course to be a type of community where we can all help each other. So that's it. I hope you liked the course. You can sign up at the link below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Happy learning.